the Ticonderoga was clearly a breakthrough in terms of its weapon system, in terms of the Aegis systems. The facts are that weapon systems was being placed on an already proven platform. Uh, prior to the building of Ticonderoga, 27 ships in that class. Ingalls built 30 Spruance class destroyers and four Kidd class destroyers on basically the same hull. The Navy was capitalizing on its past investments in terms of ship design, but at the same time was introducing a new weapon system to the fleet. We've been in this business well over 50 years, and we've built four generations of surface combatants. Simply put, we know how to build surface combatants. It's very significant for the Navy and for Ringo Shipbuilding uh, to uh, start the construction of the first Flight 3. The Spy 6 radar that's on a Flight 3 is more capable than what we've had on Flight 2As. They can actually detect, track, and engage more enemy targets at a further distance. It actually provides more sea presence and sea power on the high seas. The capabilities are needed now. The threats are real. The capability that the, the Flight 3 destroyer will bring will be able to track any adverse action that any of these threat countries have against us or any other nation in the world. It really means a lot and it's a tremendous honor and responsibility to be the ship program manager over a ship as complex as the Jack Lucas, the first Flight 3 destroyer. And you can really tell there's a, a sense of purpose and pride amongst the collective team that's building this ship. We have a long list of people who are veterans who have been in the military, who have been in the Navy, the Air Force, the Army, who come to work for Ingalls because they see that as a really a sense of purpose of continuing to be able to serve our country we're always honored to build these great ships. They name all the Arleigh Burke class after great people who have done great things for this nation. Especially with Jack Lucas, falsified records to get into the Marine Corps at the age of 14, earned the Medal of Honor at the age of 17 by uh, being in a foxhole. Two grenades come into the foxhole. He puts his body on top of him. Fortunately, only one went off and he survived. Uh, but it tells you a little bit about him. He knew at that point in time what he had to do, and he could have paid the ultimate price. We want to put our pride and the quality into a ship, knowing what these ships stand for and the people behind their namesakes and what they did. Building Jack Lucas with the most advanced Aegis system to date just sends out another signal that English shipbuilding is prepared today to take lessons learned of the past and apply them to the future.